we're going to use Crunchit to find summary statistics such as median, average, uh, standard deviation, and the five number summary that's related to the median. We're going to look at example 2.3 where we have a set of travel times in New York State. The data that's given is not in order, so in order to find the median, as this example is asking us to do, we have to arrange it in order and then find the middle number. In this case it's even, so we have to find the middle two numbers. So they've arranged the numbers in a stem plot and that makes it easier to find the median. Now we're going to use the Crunchit applet to find more information about this data, such as the mean standard deviation and all that. I'm using this data as an illustration as to how you can use Crunchit to calculate all these um, numbers. I hit Crunchit and that opens up another window and this is what you'll see. You'll see the data listed here. The title of this column is called minutes and that row just has a number in front of it. It doesn't get a row number. And this is all the data which is already preloaded when you hit the button. You click on statistics and then on summary statistics and then on column. And that brings up this dialog box right here. We're dealing here with non-grouped data. This is a simple type of data set. And the data is minutes, so we click on that. And then all these are already selected for us, but that's too much um, stuff. So I'm going to just select the things that I want. Um, so I'm going to deselect the N. I, I don't need the sum, but I want the variance, the mean, the variance, the standard deviation. The, I don't want the standard error because we haven't talked about that. I want the median, the minimum, the maximum, and, and I want all these first quartile and third quartile. I don't necessarily want the mode. All right, so the minimum, maximum, first quartile, third quartile, along with the median, which I should select, uh, will give me the five number summary. The mean variance and standard deviation is a different set of descriptors um, that actually gives you a numerical uh, amount for the spread. Right? So once let me just check that I have the things I want checked off and then I go down here. I can have options to insert the results into the data table but for now I will just click OK. I release the control button, I hit OK and this gives me a set of summary statistics right here. The variance, the standard deviation, the range, the first quartile, third quartile, the mean, max, minimum, maximum, and the median. Okay. The first quartile, third quartile, min, max, and the median are what you need for your five number summary. You can sketch a box plot with that information. The mean goes with the standard deviation for this data. So that gives you another set of descriptors. So this um, set of data um, has yielded a whole bunch of statistics, both the mean and the median. If you just wanted one or the other, you can, of course, deselect them in the dialog box. Okay. Um, you should get familiar with using Crunchit for using for doing these types of calculations because it's uh, very handy for large sets of data and people don't usually do them uh, by hand. We analyze them using some software that are similar to this. You should, uh, ne your next step should be to practice some other problems using the Crunchit. You can also access Crunchit from the Stats Portal homepage um, if you have your own set of data to type in.